These are devotions for people at a social distance. I'd just like to take a few moments to reflect today, uh, scripturally, theologically, about sort of where we are. Uh, we have been dealing, no question at all, with a crisis in this country, uh, with an occupation specifically in Ottawa and in other places that is very troubling, very difficult. And, um, and, and I, have, I don't have a whole lot of sympathy with, uh, with protesters in those places, though I certainly do agree that they have the right to uh, vent their frustrations. But that's um, how they do it, of course, is another question. Uh, but what I'm concerned about today is this. Uh, we have seen how uh, a new measure, um, Emergency Measures Act, has been uh, put into place. And I just have a few concerns about this. Uh, the issue, as, as I see it, uh, up until this point, has not really been that the law has not been sufficient to meet this particular crisis. I do believe that there are all, all kinds of measures, lawful measures, that could have been taken uh, to deal with this protest. Uh, the, the problem is that those haven't been taken, uh, in some cases because it doesn't seem like anyone wanted to take those measures. Uh, but the issue is not necessarily that the laws were not strong enough. The issue was that the laws were not being enforced. But now what has happened is that a new law is being put in place uh, that is is going to give the police uh, financial measures more teeth uh, to fight back against what's going on. On one level, I don't have huge amounts of sympathy for the people who have put us in this position, and yet on the other hand, I am concerned about this. Uh, first of all, why do we need more laws when the laws we had weren't being adequately enforced? And I'm also very concerned uh, that when this is all said and done, uh, what we see is, is, is stronger laws that can be used against all kinds of other people, including Indigenous protesters or representatives of minority, other minority groups, uh, who could see their... Uh, situation greatly hurt uh, when they try to protest and when they try to stand up. Uh, so I have some issues because I don't think the problem was the law. The, pro wasn't, the problem wasn't the law. The, pro the problem was a, a lack of will to enforce the law in this case, probably because of the people who were involved. Uh, I have a problem with trying to solve the problem with stronger laws. That is my concern today. So. Um, there's lots of scripture uh, about how law doesn't really solve anything, how, how stronger laws actually often make it worse. The, the New Testament is full of that, so I can't sort of give you one specific scripture. I would pull out this one today, Romans 13, 10, love does no wrong to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. We do not need stronger laws in this case, I think. To find a way to live together. Yes, some, some measures definitely need to be taken and, and the existing laws need to be enforced, uh, but to beef up our laws to deal with a problem in policing, a problem in enforcement, is actually not the solution and I'm very concerned it could make things worse. Anyways, that's where I am today. Lord our God, <laughs> let us do what is right. Uh, thank you for showing us through Christ that law is actually not the solution to a better society. Help us to find better measures, better ways of doing and being. In Jesus' name, amen.